Hello and welcome to my latest video. Um, this is something a little bit different. Anyone who follows me on Facebook and Instagram and so on might have noticed recently that I've posted messages saying about uh, doing a special video. And this is that special video. Um, I've had a really good, I've had a bit of really good luck. Um, I, and I'm actually quite surprised that it has happened. And uh, this type of thing only, you know, more often than not happens to people with much larger channels than mine. Um, but nonetheless, I'm still really pleased it's happened. Um, Screwfix uh, said to me that they wanted to support my woodworking and my making of it and help support my channel. They gave me uh, an amount of money to spend in their catalogue on items of my choice and they also wanted to send me something else to do a review on. So that's what this video is about. Um, as I said they give me an amount of money so I'll just quickly run through the things that I chose um, things that I, I wanted and I thought would be useful to me and then I'll move on to the bits for review right so you might wonder why I, I chose these items but for me personally I just thought why not you know they're not very expensive items some of them and but to me you can never be without you can never have enough um, first couple of items I chose were packs of sanding sponges now I absolutely love these you know if they, if they get clogged up you can wash them out you know they last a good while you know I've got enough here to last me a, a while now I've got fine medium and coarse so that was one thing that came in the pack um, I also selected various grits of wet and dry sandpaper again you know you might be thinking why have you picked sandpaper it's you know but to me it's it's useful um, one of the other items I chose was a pack of 100 number 10 biscuits The reason I picked them uh, was because I also picked this lovely brand new biscuit jointer which I am really happy about. I'm going to be reviewing this very shortly so you know please hold out for that. The item that Scrofix actually originally asked me to review was this 18 volt uh, brushless combi drill. So if you want to give me a few minutes, I'm going to get the tools unpacked and we'll start on the review. Right, so off the bat, it comes in a clearly marked box it tells you everything about it um, easy to tell what it is you know good packaging and that but taking the outer box away we come across a very tough robust plastic box carry case nice latches on it opening it up instruction manual I'm not entirely sure how to say the brand name of this. I think it's Air Bauer. So, but I apologise if I'm pronouncing it wrong. So, you know, nice booklet with it. Uh, two batteries. Nice battery clip. Uh, fantastic looking charge station. And of course, charge your wire. <coughs> Excuse me, now get into the drill itself. First impression. 
feels great in the hand it is so comfortable rubber feel grip um, lovely size not very heavy at all uh, two or three pound four pound maybe I'm not very good at guessing weights but it feels very very comfortable in the hand um, just looking at it I can see it has got I think up to 18 torque settings or maybe 21 drill hammer action nice uh, variable speed 1 and 2 reverse forward great little great little work line what looks like a battery indicator can you see yeah yeah straight off the bat feels really nice I'll give you a couple of the details about the drill itself if you can just bear with me one moment okay as I've already mentioned it's got a uh, I've had to write a few things down because there's so much about the drill I can't remember um, for a start it's it's 18 volt to one power uh, brushless cordless combi drill that's a mouthful uh, it comes with two batteries, it has the two speeds in reverse, it's got a 48 minute charge time so that ain't too bad, I've had drills in the past that take hours. Um, it's a 13mm keyless chuck, yep yeah, 21 torque settings, uh, drill plus hammer setting and the quite useful LED uh, working light. Um, this drill I believe costs £99.99 pence I've got to say from what I'm seeing at the moment it is worth every penny it looks good it feels great uh, it's got everything you need in a drill all the settings the speeds the torques the hammer it is so comfortable in my, I've only got quite small hands but as you can see I can hold this quite comfortably um, and I suppose even if you was a bloke or you know with, with much bigger hands than me it'd still be good it just fits in my hand lovely uh, feels feels really balanced I like it I really do like it this is going to be one of my I think this is going to be one of my more favorite tools so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pause the video for a minute and I'm going to I'm going to test it out why not I feel very I actually feel very confident with this drill just bear with me please right okay what I've done here I've just uh, thrown a regular drill bit into it I've got a piece of piece of inch thick oak let's see how we get on No bother, absolutely no bother. I mean, I'm assuming in a piece of softwood it'd just absolutely chew through that. So the next test I'm gonna give, I'm gonna see about driving a screw in. So bear with me. Right, I hope you can see this okay. I've only just really started the screw off uh, slightly. So let's see how we get on. Yeah, that did it. Get it out. Wow, absolutely no bother. No pile at all. Straight through the uh, bit of oak. Straight into my weight bench. What more do you need? So, overall, what do I think to this drill? <laughs> wow. Um, worth every penny in my opinion worth every penny um, I'm sure there are people out there who would much prefer to go out and buy the bigger brands um, 
personally, I don't see the point. It drilled and all, it put a screw in, it took a screw out. I ain't even going to drill into my wall, I know it will do it. Um, uh, I do not see the point in spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds on a drill when you can go out and buy something like that or buy one of these and it'll do everything you want it to do um, I mean obviously when you buy the bigger brands you might be buying something that might last a long time but as for the lifespan of this drill I don't know yet I can't say you know but you are going to see it coming you are going to see it in my future videos I am definitely going to be using that drill a lot I absolutely love it it is so comfortable it when you just squeeze the trigger you can feel it kick in your hand it has got power without doubt it has got power I absolutely love it you're going to see a lot of it I couldn't be happier ok the next tool uh, I'd like to review um, is the Air Bauer 860 watt biscuit jointer um, again I apologise if I'm not pronouncing the name correctly but that's how I think it's said uh, so straight off the bat, uh, nice clear packaging again, quite descriptive, gives you plenty of information again, so just going beyond the outer box, again like with the drill, a nice strong robust case, which is always helpful, um, you, need, you know we need to protect our tools, we need to look after them. Straight into the box, I see the butt. Well, that's nice, I wasn't expecting that. A pack of 10, 20, and 0 size biscuits. Excellent. Dust extraction bag, very useful, I'm sure. And then, very nicely, the packaged machine. Hmm. Right, well, again, just let me mold this out of the way a second. A bit of weight to it. That's the first thing I've noticed. There's a little bit of weight to it. But not, not uncomfortable. Um, Nice rubberized grip on the top. Again, my small hands, they still fit around the body of the tool and around the top handle. So there we can see the dust extraction port. That feels like it's in a good location that it won't that it won't get in the way. Um just let me adjust the camera a little bit and so yeah the dust extraction bag it feels like it's in quite a nice location where it won't get in the way um, so yeah it looks good feels good in the end as I say it does have a bit of weight to it but that's okay I don't mind because it's, it's not like I'm going to be using it up in the air a lot. It's all going to be down here, so no problem. Okay, so let's talk about a few other features of this um, biscuit joint here. Straight away, I can see it goes from 0 to 90 degrees. Uh, so ideal for butt joints or mitre joints, that kind of thing. Uh, depth for depth adjustment so that looks like it's got quite a quite a big uh, depth adjustment on it which is useful um, on the side I can see the switch to select what size biscuits you're going to use 
Yeah, it looks good. I like it. The the dust bag. It looks like it's going to be in a good location. Um, that ain't going to get in the way of anything when you're working. Nice layout, Mark, for you to cut accurately. Just a quick oh, just a quick test there. Really, that slide's really nice. Just let me. Oh, that is such an easy, smooth action. It's really good. So bear with me. I'm gonna get it plugged in, get it set up, and let's just see how it performs. If it's anything like the drill, it's gonna be fantastic. Right. Okay. I've got it set up on the to cut a biscuit slot in the same bit of oak I was using in the drill review. Uh, let's just give it a quick. Let's just give it a quick go. say just my first thought was it is quite a loud machine but that's okay a pair of earplugs and it sorts it out as for the cut can't complain does great so yeah I'm really happy with that one thing I have noticed and I actually forgot to keep an eye on um, while making the making the cut the dust bag it has collected absolutely every scrap of the uh, of the shavings every scrap Um, they want a single bit of shaving on my workbench until I've just took it out now. So that is fantastic. Um, <coughs> obviously I didn't use a dust mask or anything but I, after that I feel like I don't need to. But overall, let me tell you a bit about this machine. Um, so yeah, like I've said, it cuts 0, 10, 20 size biscuits. It's got adjustable height and angle. Um, it is heavy quality for price uh, it's 64 pounds and 99 pence money well spent if you ask me absolutely um, I'm more than happy with it this brand of tool um, you know I'm seriously considering this brand of tool if I need anything in the future because just through this biscuit jointer and the drill I previously reviewed, I am impressed. Um, you know, Scrofix have asked me to give an honest review and that is exactly what I'm doing. If they were rubbish, I would say they were rubbish. Um, but they're not. They're really not. Um, I do not feel the need to go and spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds on these type of machines. I was looking through the screw fix catalogue and I saw another biscuit joint uh, for roughly five times what you'd pay for this one. I don't feel it'd do any different. It's still gonna cut that same slot. Um, I'm trying really hard to think of something negative to say about these two tools. But I genuinely can't. Um, they're fantastic. I couldn't be happier. So at sixty-four ninety-nine for the biscuit joint there, and ninety ninety-nine pounds ninety-nine pence for the drill. I believe you're getting more tool than you're paying for. I really do. Um, I am seriously keeping my this brand for if there's anything else I'd like to get. So, yeah. If you're looking for something cheap but good, give them a go. I would. 
I would absolutely, I, I'm not regretting these tools one minute, for one minute. So that's the review. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I just want to say thank you, a massive, massive thank you to the, everyone at Scrollfix for helping me, supporting me, sending me the items to, you know, keep me going in my workshop. You, you'll never understand how much I appreciate. You'll never understand what a difference you've made to my small 8x5 foot workshop. Thank you so much. Thank you.